So what is color grading for horror films? A horror color grade typically aims to evoke the feelings of unease, suspense, and fear throughout the manipulation of color. Some common characteristics of a horror color grade includes number one, desaturation. Often, horror films employ desaturated colors, particularly in the midtones and shadows, creating a bleak and grim atmosphere. The lack of vibrant colors can enhance the sense of dread and hopelessness. Let's add a new node. We're going to name this saturation. And let's just decrease the saturation in this clip. We're going to go to our color wheels and we're going to look for saturation and we'll just dial it back a bit. And I think that looks good. Number two, cool tones. Cool tones, such as blues and greens, are frequently used to convey the sense of coldness and eeriness. These colors can make scenes feel otherworldly and unnatural, contributing to the unsettling mood of horror films. So let's add a new node, and we're going to name this one Cool Tones. And usually when I add a tone over the overall image, I go to the offset. The offset wheel affects the whole image. Grab the midpoint of the offset, and I'm just going to bring it down towards the blues and the greens. And we'll just move it around until we find something really cool. So I think that's cool. Number three, high contrast. Increased contrast between light and dark areas can intensify the dramatic effect of horror scenes. Deep shadows and bright highlights can create a sense of depth and dimension, emphasizing the tension between light and dark. So we'll add a new node, and we're going to name this node Contrast. Let's go to the Contrast slider, and let's just add contrast to the shot. I'm just going to move it around until I like something. So that looks pretty good. We're going to go to the pivot. And we'll decide where we want that contrast to sit. So now that we've added our contrast, let's go to number four. Subdued or absent of warm tones. Warm tones such as reds and oranges are often subdued or absent in horror color grades. Instead, cooler colors dominate, reinforcing the sense of detachment or alienation from the familiar. We'll add another node, and we'll name this one Subdued Colors. We'll go to our Curves panel, and we'll select Hue versus Saturation. So what we want to do is, we want to target this yellow bowl on the table, and just pull some of those yellows out. So we'll click on the Yellow tab, and just drag the yellows down. So you see, if I push the yellows up, it gets more yellow. And if I bring it down, it's less yellow. Dark Moody lighting can enhance the ominous atmosphere of horror films. Shadows are often used to conceal threats or create a sense of mystery, keeping the audience on edge. We'll add another node. And we'll just name this Low Key. We want to bring some of the highlights down. So let's go back to our color panel. Let's go to the gain, and let's just dial the highlights back down. And if you look at our RGB scopes, you can see that the very top of the image, 
or the top of the graph, I'm pulling the highlights down. Let's keep the highlights under 768. It also looks like the shadows are being crushed, so let's bring that back up a bit. That looks good. Adding grain to an image can give it a gritty, aged appearance, reminiscent of the classic horror films. This aesthetic can contribute to the feeling of unease or nostalgia associated with this genre. So we'll add another node. We'll go to the effects panel and we're gonna add film grain. Now I like to turn up my opacity so I can see the actual grain and I would just cycle through these presets. And I kind of really like the 16 millimeter 250D. And what we'll do now is we'll just dial back the opacity, maybe reduce the grain size. Overall, the goal of Horror Color Grade is to immerse the audience into a world of darkness and dread, using color to enhance the emotional impact of the film and intensify the viewer's sense of fear and suspense. So this is the shot before our color grade, and this is after. Let's try the same things using LUTs. In this example, we're gonna use my Horror Pack LUTs that's available on my website right now for download. Right click, grab a still, and I'll delete this. So I'll add two nodes, and on the very last node, I'll add my LUT. So I'm gonna go over to my LUT pack, and I'm just gonna audition these. And what I'm looking for is a, is a certain feel. Keeping these bullet points in mind, when you cycle through your LUTs, this is, this is what you wanna look for. You wanna look for the blue-green tones. You wanna look for the uh, desaturation, although you can add that afterwards. But you, I feel like the LUTs make it a lot easier for you to get to where you need and just keep working. So in this instance, I'm gonna use the silence LUT. Now this LUT, if I think it's too strong, I can go to my key panel and I can just dial it back if I want. So this is with no effect on and I can just slowly bring that effect back in. So if your LUTs are too strong, this is a really cool trick that you can use to sort of adjust the opacity of the LUT. Now let's go over our checklist. The first one would be desaturation. So on the first node, I'll go to my saturation and I'll just bring the saturation levels down. That looks good. I'm gonna add another node. Number two would be the cool tones. Now from looking at this image, I can tell that there's already some really nice cool tones to this image. So we'll move on to the third one, which is high contrast. I can add a little bit more contrast, but again, the LUT gives me the, the filmic contrast that I need. So let's just try to add some contrast and see if it makes a difference. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna adjust my pivot. Subdued or absent colors. So the only color, warm color that I see in this image is the yellow bowl. Add another node. We'll go to our curves. We'll go to our hue versus saturation. And we'll just click on the yellow button. That's going to select the yellow in the shot. Click on my point, And I'm just going to bring it down. And that removes the yellow color in the bowl.
You also have to pay attention to his skin, because if you notice his skin, the yellow in his skin is also being removed. So that looks cool. We're going to go to low key lighting. So we're going to add another node. We'll go back to our color panel. We'll go to our gain and we'll just drop the highlights. Maybe drop the offset a bit. And that looks good. Next, we'll add some grain. So we'll add another node. We'll go to Film Grain in the Effects panel. I'm going to turn my opacity all the way up so I can see the grain. And I'm just going to cycle through the presets. Huh, I like this one right here. So we'll dial back the opacity. Overall, the goal of a horror film grade is to immerse the audience in a world of darkness and dread, using color to enhance the emotional impact of the film and intensify the viewer's sense of fear and suspense. Thank you guys for checking out my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this video was helpful to you in any way. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.